This is just a mini instruction on how the Intuitive Extended Plus um, reading works. If you are familiar already on how it is, you can skip th right through your reading. So first we have um, the four elements here, which is going to be um, water, fire, air, and earth. Each I will pick one zodiac, and once I picked one, in the Extended, depending on your zodiac, I will read it base from it. If you are an Aries, I'll read from Aries to Virgo. If I pick a Virgo, Aries to Cancer, I'll pick Aries to Cancer. Those are all four separate readings, okay, that I will be doing in the extended. And then this is totally separate also. So basically there's five readings that we are be we are gonna be doing in the extended. So the way it works also, if it's like if you are just focusing on your sun sign, you know, it's like I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest having an open mind because all this zodiac will still resonate with you. Remember, if I can read you from the screen, then all this will still connect with your situation. So we are trying to get as much um, scenario in the extended and as much as different um, zodiacs also in the extended reading so that it can be catering to your zodiac, all right? Now that that's uh, been said, we'll proceed to your reading. Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. And if you are in premiere, I'm so excited that I'm sharing this time with you guys right there. And it's about to be lunch. You know, if it's Pisces time, it's lunch time. What's your favorite lunch? Okay. <laughs> if we were on a lunch break and we're going to the cafeteria, okay. If I use if I still eat meat, I would definitely go for some meatloaf, mm. <laughs> some mac and cheese, aqua, which I don't eat meat. That's right. mac and cheese, meatloaf, sloppy joes. Oh my god, like anything that I. Oh my god. Um, mm. Yeah, screw salad, <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> okay. Screw salad, so let's get let's down this. Seriously, we're drinking beer on lunch break, Pisces. I used to do that also, Sag. Okay. My own, my older years. Okay. My younger years, basically. My younger years was older because I just, that's how I feel. I'm more younger now. <laughs> All right, so what's lunch? What's good? Capricorn. Because okay. I feel here like you're about to set forth on a new chapter of your life. And you would need to sit down with someone special. Now, this is not a partner. You will be talking to someone like a, a friend, a family member, and it's almost like you're expressing this part of yourself where um, like a side of you that you want to explore, like all of a sudden it's like, you know, like for example, you're, you're a teacher or something like that, you're a teacher, and then you're feeling you have a calling for somewhere, somewhere else. It's like, you know what, I want to teach but not here anymore. You want to do some sort of charity. You want to spend your time, you know, it's like even more further, to, you know, for it's almost like... Um, you want to reach out to people in a worldly way. When I say worldly, like to help the needy and stuff like that. That's good. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I would want that. You know, it's like if I have time though, you know, it's like, because you're, you're making time. That's a difference. I'm sure if I can make time, but you're making time for this. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're having a calling, like uh, help the, you know, help charitable institution. You're, you're doing that. Uh-huh. You have a good heart, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's gonna resonate for some. I hope it resonates for a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so, ooh. Keep doing that. It's, it's a, look at this. Ace of Cups. That's your, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Should we go? Let's go. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Pentacles. You're finding inner peace and balance right now. You're, you've been healed. Like, now what is this healing thing? Because we can't purchase this in CVS and Walgreens, okay? Now this inner peace, you feel mm -hmm. this. Um, 
you know how you have a good cry and then all of a sudden okay the good cry is done and then <sighs> that's the inner peace because you have let it all out let it all out you know that's the four of swords you're having good sleep right now and you know it's like and you're feeling that because it's a cup is healing emotional healing um you're feeling it's like i'm more connected to myself than i was like, like that and ever was okay i know who i am and i'm fine this is also self-love self-healing and self-love you're finding yourself it's like finally i'm learning to love myself and care for myself a lot of people forget this when they're loving other people oh right it's like you don't even curl your hair like me anymore kidding <laughs> <laughs> so now you know what self-love is spending two hours in the mirror trying to like to talk to yourself be careful the mirror is rahu do not spend more time in the mirror okay it's it's an illusion okay that's not good okay this is just because i have to face the camera if not i just face basically i don't know what i would face the bed so i can sleep okay <laughs> Um, Ace of Cups with the Four of Swords here. You're finding yourself very, very in tune. That's good. Love. I love a healed person here. Okay. And this is a person who you would want to talk to also. Like if this is a person that you're dealing with, that they have healed. Oh, wow. Get ready for reconciliation. Because you got a temperance and a queen of coins. Okay. Um, when you also come to the terms where you're healing and you're taking care of yourself, you would also see that for some reason the coins is also working out the career because your vibration is working out on different parts of the houses of your zodiac okay so this is not law of attraction which is that's totally bullcrap oh i'm sorry that's my opinion and then you know it's like you don't have to take it but on my end it's not because mastering of the houses is what is it is what it is the first mm -hmm. to the 12th house okay once you know how to be for yourself with the eye for the others you know in the seventh house for the tenth house, for the society, um, for the twelfth house, you know, you know, um, how do you call this? All the way to the end, you know, to, to your moksha. That's when Saturn gives you, okay, what wherever Saturn is, and this is what you're getting: stability, Capricorn energy. Saturn is in Sag. That was fast, right? So you get what you deserve karmically. You cannot get something that is not meant for you, no matter how much uh, law of attraction you practice. It doesn't work. If you if it could have worked, then law of attraction could have been done so many ways to attract, I don't know, whoever your crush is. It doesn't work. That's called, you know, it's like not throwing shade. You know, it's like, that's different. It's like, like manipulation of the energy. That's totally different. When you're manipulating energy, mm -hmm. that's some sort of a, you know, like in a way it's a, I don't say it here, but that's different when you do that. Okay. Which can be possible also at the cost. Okay. So if it's aligned for you, if it's meant for you to reconcile, it's meant for you to reconcile. It's right here. You don't even have to attract it. Okay. But you're doing something good first house. Because remember, Saturn needs you to work hard first before you can get what you deserve. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And you're getting it. That's the only thing also important here. Five of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay. Ace of King of Cups. Someone that you have um, had a fight with. Also is here, Four of Swords, and you're healing from it. This person was overly emotional, and then you're the water sign, just saying. Oh, but you could have an Earth Moon, that's why. Okay, you're being patient with this person countless times, countless times. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles, you tried to resort, you tried to even step out of your comfort zone to make things work. But this person is just so difficult. King of Cups with the Five of Swords. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Here's what I'll tell you, since people are just so intrigued with the love with the of attraction. What I do is mastering of the houses, from first house to 12th house, meaning mastering of the 12 zodiacs. Hence, I don't have a zodiac. And then things just aligns themselves. Karmically, of course aligns themselves an opportunity golden opportunity a stable relationship is coming towards you the world is your oyster ace to the queen of uh, ace of coins uh, to the ace of, uh, and ace of cups is stable relationship that grows like crazy this is going to be an abundant relationship at the same time can be sorry i didn't quite catch that could you please repeat it okay siri mm -hmm. i'm listening Okay. 
don't know what that happened. Okay? So, I guess that's an omen. Okay? So something is listening then. Okay? <laughs> the universe is listening <laughs> towards you. What, you're, what you have been manifesting and trying to connect yourself with. Heal yourself. It's, it's doing you well. And opportunities are coming towards you with the Ace of Coins. Someone that you love is coming your way to express their feelings. Yes, I know they were difficult, Five of Swords, but I know you're trying to work it out still. With the Ace of Coins, it's a new beginning can be, or you can have two people who are new. Okay? Hold on, I'm gonna seize. <coughs> Excuse me. You're getting so much omen. Okay? Because I know in some culture, it means something when you sneeze. Okay? Interesting. There's no dust here. But yeah, so, I digress. Just keep coming back. Come back. Okay, so you healed yourself. You're feeling this connection with this person. You're trying to resolve it. Here's a chance. I'm not sure how you're gonna do it and how this person is gonna do it, but here's a chance between the two of you. Okay? So, let's see here. I'm gonna continue this reading Aqua, Scorpio, Sag, and Capricorn. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And make sure you tune into my other channel, Salvador Vlogs, right there. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just gonna welcome them. It's like, oh, you know, it's like, how are you? Let's be back together. No, it's not gonna be easy. For this person this person wants to resolve it you can be meeting someone you also if you move try it you have the capacity you are smart enough you know what to do magic you got here clean of cups make over scene 15 take one the world can use more silence there's too much noise that drowns the wisdom that lies unbidden in silence it's not entirely our fault. We grew up realizing that making a sound gets us what we want. Infants crying when they are hungry, bored, need of a diaper change, or sick. They get what they want when they make some noise. So our instinct is to talk or ask someone to talk when we want something from them. When we want a response, when we want a reaction, when we want their attention or even forgiveness. When the other person doesn't reply, we interpret that as anger or coldness, but silence could simply mean they are healing. It is in silence that we hear our most enlightening thoughts. It gives us the opportunity to hear what our heart, our mind, and spirit is really telling us. Walking away from the chaos doesn't mean escaping or abandoning the people. It means we are reconnecting to the deepest part of ourselves. Every moment, we spend for ourselves is a time of healing. Someone is not talking, someone is healing.